Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts. How's it going, everybody? How's your day going? I hope it's spectacular. So, I told you guys earlier this week that I was going to do a Native American beating video today, but I changed my mind because my lower back is kind of flared up today. And I don't want to sit in this chair for an hour. I want to go get in the hot tub when I'm done here and rest my bones. You know what I'm saying? So, I figured I'd do a flip through with you guys on this new book I got. It's not... I, it, I purchased it as a PDF form. So I printed it out, I made it into a book, so I can flip the pages. It's the perks of working for a print shop. So, I found this book on Etsy. So, let's see. I've been buying patterns from Etsy for a little while. So this pattern here, I paid six dollars for this pattern. Now, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful pattern, and it gives me step by step instructions of what everything is. Yeah, that's nice, but six dollars. So I was cruising through trying to find some new patterns because I've done almost everything of patterns I have besides changing colors and this book popped up now it was PDF but I, ca I call it a book but this popped up on Etsy for $11.99 and I was like um where's this been my whole life like this is everything it is a little bit different of how I do mine. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So, it's 48 patterns. I paid $12 for it. So I put a nice clear cover on it. And I used a nice thick 80 pound cardstock for the inside pages. This is going to be my hard copy. And... I printed out a soft copy, no book form, so I could use it and I could take the sheets and I could print them out on my printer as I need them and I can use them as a pattern. So this is just a little bit of what's in there. So this is your first sheet, some beautiful patterns, uh, you see what I'm saying, how, how they do. There's differently than I do mine. They stagger. And you can't really see it very good on the camera. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. See, they stagger down. The, they step down the ends. I would just do mine straight because that's how I know how to do mine. But I would love to learn how to, that I'm sure that all that is is just a braid, and then tied into a knot. But it looks like a lot thicker of a line than what I use. So here's the first couple patterns. Really cool. This one here reminds me of this guy I made. I. It's dark over here. Does this help? I'm gonna see a ring over there, but hopefully it helps. It looks dark to me, but I'm lower. Oh, that's bright. Never mind. I'm just sitting lower than the camera. So, this looks like it's gonna be long. Uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, 
eight strap thread. Co well, they use cotton thread. I don't use cotton thread. I use nylon with uh, wax on it. Some cool patterns. These two look the same. They are the same. No. This is reversed on this end. Beautiful patterns. So I'm going to be getting into this next week. Um, I wanted to give my Patreons a chance to look at this and see if there's a pattern in here that they like and have the option for me to make it for them as a gift to them for becoming a Patreon. And yeah. So on that note, I want to thank, uh, all my Patreons. Um, I just got another Patreon. It is Brother Brian. Brian Diamond Painting Elliot. Thank you so much, brother, for becoming a Patreon to the channel. See, that it's cool because there's, there's different thicknesses. Technically, I could shorten the pattern by just taking a couple rows out. I don't have very big wrists. My hands look big, but my wrists are small. Lots of beautiful patterns. Though, I... I was blown away when I bought this. I've, I've been so excited to do a flip through and share this with you guys. It's so awesome. Look at that. That one reminds me of the Confederate flag. I'll have to make that one for brother, good old boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably gonna catch hell for saying it looks like the Confederate flag, but you know, the Confederate flag's not racist. Do your facts. Re do your research and get your facts. Very, very beautiful. I love how they use a lot of the eagles. But it does start to change when we get to the back. It starts to get getting out of the birds. I always forget I put this on cardstock so it's I kinda have to find the next page. Gosh, they're so beautiful, the colorations. I'm still trying to find some light browns and dark browns because there is a pattern in here that I want to make. And I also want to make uh, I'm drawing a blank. In my Facebook group, Creative Mayhem posted a, an, uh, a link in there. It was a, a Native American style bracelet, but it was done out of like, uh, leopard pattern or whatever, cheetah pattern, something like that. I was like, oh, that'd be cool to make. Never thought about making something like that. Now we're starting to get into some arrows. My only problem is, is I'm not finding any light tans and browns in the, the, the beads that I've been buying. <gasps> Wolf eyes. <sighs> oh. Oh. God, yes. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a cool pattern. God, these right here. My jaw hit the floor when I seen these patterns. I was like, oh, 
my god, the beautiful. I love, I love it. Love these patterns. This this is only volume a part one. I was like, holy cow, where has my world been? How have I been making these and buying six dollar patterns? Oh my gosh, I love this one. See, this is what I was talking about. It tapers at the ends, and they braid everything together. Which I can do. I can braid. Um, I learned how to braid when I was little because I used to to uh, French braid my horse's tail. Uh, my horse Red. He had a super super long tail, so I always braided it. And when we used to go out and go riding, I was always the last one to get on my horse. Or I was always the first one to get to my horse to get him prepped because I always braided his tail. Because his tail drug the ground probably five or six inches and I did not want him to break it off and do anything to hurt it, to damage it. So I always braided it. And my mom was like, well, if you're going to braid your horse's tail, you're going to learn how to do a French braid. Okay, well, teach me. That's a new thing, too. How they do the ends. They sewed the leather together around it. Really nifty. Never even thought about that because I've been gluing the leather down on mine. See? I learned new tips and tricks on how to do this stuff. I've been doing this stuff since I was a kid. Oh, yeah. These, even the greens. Um, I'm gonna have to go through my colors and see what I have for colors. I always forget what I have for colors, but I love this. This pattern here, uh, I don't know, it's a toss up between these two. The blues and the oranges and reds just make everything pop. It's absolutely beautiful. The, this one with the black background, or black lining, it's gorgeous, and then this one with that turquoise teal in, inner, oh, uh, yeah, beautiful. And then see with this, all I'd have to do is fill it in, bring the blue down across, and just fill the rest of it in with teal. Be easy. I would love to figure out how they do this. I'm going to have to do some research on YouTube and figure out what they use because it says to use cotton thread. This one says embroidery thread. Embroidery thread, cotton thread. And it looks thicker than what I use, so we'll have to do some research. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, this one looks really, really busy. Love the feathers, though. Yeah, that just looks so busy. Oh my gosh, it, it kind of gives me a headache looking at it. But it, it is definitely beautiful. Definitely beautiful. This one here, actually all three of these, I, the color combinations are just... Blow my mind. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, I, the, the, the tans and browns and stuff, just, there's a couple more in here that are just mind-blowing. These are all so beautiful. I, I'm ready to get to town next week on one, of, on one of these patterns. I need to get to town making some pad or bracelets for my Patreons because it is time to get some of them made up and sent out. Absolutely beautiful. I love this black one. I love the blue one. The black one, it, the black makes everything pop. 
I I really like the turquoise too. Not a fan of red. Me and red, I don't know why I don't like the color red. Everybody says it looks good on me because I have bright, bright, bright blue eyes. But yeah, I'm not a fan. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful images. That's it. Where did I see those other images? I don't know. I may be losing my head. Oh, maybe it was the other book I was looking at had some browns and stuff. And it was, the whole image was like dark brown, light browns, and tans. It was really, really pretty. So there's that. Eleven ninety nine, absolutely beautiful. I have the PDF still. I made myself a hard copy to have for all time's sake, and then a soft copy. Um, I got this book in. Absolutely love it. I seen a Anne from a Colorful Life doing it, and I was like. Oh my god, why have I not seen this book? Like, why have I not seen this book? It's absolutely stunning. I, sure, you all have heard me talk about it. I'm a huge, 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 huge Westerns fan. Clint Eastwood. Oh, and these are freaking perfed sheets, so I can just pull it out. It's James Arness, Matt Dillon, U.S. State Marshal from Gunsmoke. See, I told you guys. Uh, Gene Autry. Who knows how many movies that guy's played in? Absolutely love these this book so far. Ah, uh, Amanda Blake. The Dodge House. There's Miss Kitty Russell. I like it how it has little little things on the back. Amanda Blake played Kitty Russell on Gunsmoke from 1955 to 1974. Walter Beeman. He's playing a lot of Westerns himself. Uh oh. Chuck Connors. Let's see. He plays in. What is it called? Stranded? Branded. That's what it is. He's a... He got kicked out of the military. Plus, he also plays as the Rifleman. Can you tell he's got the big hoop in his gun right there? That's what the Rifleman's signature rifle was. Oh, there's Gary Cooper. I always forget the names down there and you guys can't see it. Marley Di Dietrich. Dietrich. Or Marlene. Duh. Robert Duvall. Old timer. He's played in a lot of movies. And then Clint Eastwood. What? This is, uh. The man with no name. I was thinking it was two mules for Sister Sarah, but no, not yet. And then Jack Elm. 
He played in quite a few movies with James Stewart, which he always seems to play a bad guy for some reason. Oh, there's the man right there himself, Sam Elliott. What up, bro? You the man. A oh, roadhouse. <laughs> Uh, James Gardner. I love it. I can't wait to get into this book in color. It's going to be awesome. Oh, one of my favorite shows. Lauren Green. Dan Blocker. Barnell Roberts. And Michael Landon. In the Bonanza. Haas. I don't know why. Haas is the biggest guy of all. And my uncle used to call me Haas all the time. I like a little Joe. A little Joe, he can put up a fight. He can put it up. William Holden. I don't ever remember what he played in. Let's see. Oh, this is on the back of the next page. Uh... The Wild Bunch ex escaped from Fort Bravo. And then Kathy Gerardo. Gerardo. She's played in quite a few movies. Oh, there's Shane. Hi, Shane. You guys remember the live stream of mine a couple weeks ago? I talked about how, I don't remember who it was, said something in my live stream and I said, Shane, but why, Shane? He, there's this little, he shows up to this house, and it's a wife and a late and a guy, and a wife and a husband and a little boy, and the little boy sits there and says, "But why, Shane? Why are you leaving? You know, Mom and Dad want you to stay, Shane." Turns out he was a gunslinger that turned good but then turned bad to kill the guy that was giving the family a problem. What was his name? Alan Ladd. That's right. Alan Ladd. Clevon Little. I don't even know what he played in. 1960 Drama Dust. Temptations Rising. Vera Miles. Lauren O'Hara. Gosh, she's played in so many movies. I just watched a movie with her in it the other night. Jack Palancy. Don't know what he's ever played in. Don't remember her ever seeing him. A European Western. Oh, he was the killer in Shane. Now I know. I know. I know where I seen him at. Yeah, he was the killer. He got killed. And then Roy Rogers and Dell Evans. Hi, Dolly. And then Catherine Rose. Gosh, this book's gonna be so freaking awesome. Randolph Scott. Oh gosh, he's played in lots and lots and lots of Western movies. Oh yeah, there's a whole list of movies he's played in. Barbara Stanwyck. I think that's how you say that last name. James Arness. God, I love, 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 love his movies. They're always so thrilling to watch. Woody Strode. I don't know what Woody played in. Oh! I didn't know it had a Native American guy in it. Heck yeah. Uh, what's familiar African? 
faces and hollow westerns. The man who shot Liberty Wallace, Boot Hill. Oh, he's played in a few. And then Wes Studi. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Lee Van Clef. John Wayne himself, the man, the Duke. What's up, bro? Love ya. I actually, I have a diamond painting of him. And it's going to be one of the ones I start next because it's not a very big painting. Richard Whittlemark. You, she was a bad, bad boy. You got tagged up to that wagon wheel because you kept trying to escape. I don't remember what movie that was in. The Last Wagon. How the, oh, How the West Was Won. That's what it was. And then Marie Windsor. Man. It looks like a. I'm gonna say. Dodge City. The Killing. Marie Windsor. Hellfire, Dakota. Shondown, Francie, Outlaw Woman. The Big Horn. Uh, she probably played in the big horn. And there's Jack Helm. And that's the book. Creative Heaven. If you guys want this book, I will try my best to remember to link it in the description box. It is done by Tim Foley. I seen Anne from Color Life do this, and I was like, why have I not seen this book ever? Like, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, two book flip throughs, two of my favorite things in the world Native American beating, and Westerns. Yeah, buddy. What a great day. You're a horrible glare over there. So, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I do have a, another unboxing coming up on Monday. Um, it's, a, it's a new Etsy shop that I found. I'll be showing you guys that. So stay tuned and I'll see you in my live on Saturday. And much love and peace everybody. And treat each other how you want to be treated. And I hope you give the same respect back. Have a great day, everybody.